Shaquille Garden because she did not want to go with her dad. Anala does not want to go with her dad today. Alani is so going. Is grown, Shaquille do not want to communicate. So and I'm communicating with him, letting so him know that Anala is not going. So you tell me you Have can't all the way down here. Yeah. So you tell me you can't all the way down here yeah, without dropping her. Have a good day because Anala so is not going to go. Alani is gone, but Anala does not want to go. Now tell me, tell me a real reason. I'm not, I'm not bothering you, bro. Tell me a real reason. Okay, she acting. She do not want to go. She said she don't want to go. She's a little girl. She said she don't want to go. But you're not dropping her. She said. Don't touch my phone. Don't touch my phone. Don't touch my phone. Let's go. Listen, man. Lenny, come on, Lenny. Hey, man, don't make my man. You, you, you must be sick, bro. Don't make my girl cry. Don't make my girl cry. Cause you're not Women use children as pawns. Pawns in their game. This, this is why. I'm. This part. This is not gonna go viral. Right, this is not it's not popular, you know. I'm not pandering to women and all that shit. But this is why I made my channel. And this is why I want to give my opinions. This is why I make these videos in support of men, the struggles, the issues that men go through. This man, this father, I am in his position. I know that feeling. Why is it that? When it comes to the father, the men, that is when women listen to children, right? How many times that as a parent, you don't listen to a child on every little thing they say. You don't, you don't obey your children, right? Children obey you, right? You don't, you don't just cater to children's demand. Even if, if, right, that child didn't want to go to with the father, it don't change that the father, the, the child still needs to be with that father, right? A father needs to be in a child's life. They still need quality time together. It is funny that when it comes to men, women choose to listen to children then. And practically any other situations, women are the ones who dictate what what should and should not happen to a children or say that oh like you're not listening to, you're not listening to everything a child demands but but if it's a man you supposedly listening no it's because you're using a child as a pawn right you are putting your feelings above that child's well-being that child's uh future that child's need for a father. This is the thing where I'm in. I'm, I know the situation. I know this man, right? My baby mom, which she's black, right? Is fine with demanding money, right? I, I guarantee you, right? That okay, she'll listen to a fa she'll listen to a child to not see a father, but will she listen? Will she also not take money in return for that children because? Our children doesn't want to be, you know, want to be with the father, supposedly. But no, no, no. You're going to say, oh, no. The child still needs needs things, right? It's new money. Children also need the father. They also need both parents in their life. So why is money needed, but yet the presence of a father not needed? The, the ridiculousness of that. That's why I, I'm going through the same, right? Where... My baby mom would easily demand money from me, but then not allow me to see my children. Not allow me to see my children when I want to see them. No, it's when the woman, right, the mother decide when you can see them. What kind of parenting shit is that? When you as the parent is not allowed to see your child when you want to see your child. No, it is dictated by someone else. If it was reverse, if it was a mother, a woman in that position, right? Where someone's told her that you can see your child when I tell you you can see your child. Women will be up war. But if it's a man, that's support. That is fine, right? That There's no backlash to that. This, shit like this is disgusting. It's utterly disgusting. This is a man that fuck with you. Rico, he's mean and you don't like him. Did I do that? You don't fuck with him. Did I do that? You
you hear me? He touched you? Yes, he did. Did he? Yep. No, I didn't. Right. fucking thought. Look at you, so... <laughs> he got you on camera. So what? this is a man that fucked with you. Rico, he's mean and you don't like him. Did I do that? You don't fuck with him. Did I do that? Do you hear me? He touched you? Yes, he did. I love the comment section, but that video is absolutely disgusting. This is this video perfectly shows women aren't as innocent as other people make them out to be. So utterly disgusting, absolutely. And this is why, honestly, this is why those movements like the Me Too, all these other things where believe all women. Uh, women are innocent until women are always innocent, right? Men are always guilty until proven innocent is absolutely disgusting. This is a thing where you you can't trust people just on face value. You can't trust people just purely because of their race, their gender, their I don't know orientation, whatever, right? You gotta judge people on their character, so. Yeah, can't. This is absolutely disgusting. Soon as a nigga tell me that he got kids, I'ma always wonder where the little motherfuckers at. And if he don't never got them, every conversation's gonna be about that because go and help that bitch with those kids. The fuck, niggas ain't no safe space for you to be fucking around, dirty bitch. The hell? How did you sleep, queen? How did those kids? Man, the disgustingness and vulgarness. Aggressiveness. Ugh. It's making it make sense, right? How do women like that talk so much like they care for kids? If you cared for kids so much, right? Kids' well being, that's your number one focus. Why are you, do you have kids with men that you don't want to be with for the rest of your life? Why do you have kids with men that ain't shit? Why put kids at a statistical disadvantage at early on? This is the thing, right? The hypocrisy of women, the delusion of women. You talk so much about the well-beings of kids. Your focus is, you, you say your kids are your number one, right? Your kids come first. If kids come first, one, you have kids with men that would be good fathers, okay? Men that, you, you pick men that qualify to be good fathers. Two, you pick men that you will be with for the rest of at least the kid's life. Right? At least the kid's child life, whatever. Okay? But no, after you have a child, you always find reasons to, oh, this man ain't shit. This man is a, a bum. Right? Or I'll leave this man for another man. Or I don't want this man. How is that? How is that showing that you care for your kids, right? How? I, like, you, you're not, this is the thing when women don't understand that the hypocrisy in their views about making their kids number one, right? Come number one in their life. And yet, not seeing the impact of not having a father in their life regularly would do. Or not, uh, the impact of having a bad father in their life would also do. Make it make sense for me.